What up, folk and oaks? Graphics Rogue here, and I'm back with another Rome 2 online battle. Today I'm playing as Bakhtri, and my enemy is playing as Carthago. Carthago. So, I wanted to uh, let you guys in on something I found out. A, uh, another YouTuber, Comrade Drago, from Comrade Drago Channel, or Comrade Drago Gaming, that is his YouTube channel, he uh, wanted to let me uh, tell you, he wanted me to tell you guys about a a Rome 2 giveaway he was doing, and I thought I'd let you know. It sounds interesting. It sounds like a cool thing. If any of you don't have some uh, Rome 2 DLC, you could go by Comrade Drago's gaming channel, and you could figure out how to get some for yourself. Basically, he's giving away a bunch of DLC, like uh, Hannibal at the Gates and um, uh, Caesar and Gaul, and some of the other DLCs. About ten or twelve of them, something like that. And uh, you could have a chance to get yourself some of those. Uh, some of those DLCs for free if you're not if you don't already have that stuff and I'm pretty sure most of you watching this probably have most of it already so you could go check his channel out he he puts out some Total War content some other kind of content as well and uh, sounds pretty interesting he's uh he says he's gonna give do the giveaway when he gets up to like 10,000 subs I think so you know check out his channel if you're interested sounds pretty cool Anyway, we're going to start going into the battle here. We are going to move ahead. My plan is to stay compact, keep my army together, watch my, what my enemy brings, and deal with it as it comes. I brought a couple of Tarantine cavalry. I brought a Bactrian noble horse and a Bactrian royal cavalry. I brought three scaled hoplites, scaled Thor no, two scaled thorax hoplites and one thorough spear, and uh, three Syrian archers. And a whole bunch of thorax swordsmen. Over oh, now, I'm starting to move ahead in my army now, trying to get a do a better position. My enemy has a good position right now. He's got a bit of a high ground, but it's in a weird, ridgy kind of a high ground. So uh, over here, I see he's in a, his uh, army isn't uh, isn't too scary for me right now. So my plan is to just move up here, and I'm going to have a straight. Uh, infantry line over here. We're gonna move ahead. We're gonna have the, we're gonna have the archers behind. Just start raiding fire on these noble cavalry and maybe these uh, these uh, Italian swordsmen, maybe. But no, no, the sacred band is what I was planning on because sacred band is probably one of the most deadly units on this uh, field against me. In fact, I think their stats are better than mine. They have 42 melee. While my uh, thorax has 38, so yeah, they are deadly and they're scary. So I'm gonna take my Tar Tarantines around here. But it's at this point I see what he's got, and he's got some Libyan peltist and uh, Libyan javelin men hidden in these woods. And I see that, and I was like, oh no, this isn't good. But over here I see all these cavalry starting to be, starting to show themselves from the from the hidden positions. And I'm like, oh no, they're gonna be chasing my Tarantine cavalry now. But it's not going to be a good chase because my cavalry is going to get stopped up by all this by all this terrain that they can't cross all over the battlefield. And over here, I'm going to start re repositioning my uh, initial uh, reformment to get a better, safer position. I don't think my initial deployment was going to be very safe, so I redeployed some guys. He pulled back his cavalry, but I started to pull in my cavalry again because I knew. Uh, I knew my guys could outrun him, so I wanted to move in, try to get some, see if I can get as many kills as I can. He attacks me again, so I'm going to pull him back again. But them getting chased over these hills is not going to do them good at all. They're just going to get broke up and messed up, and we're going to see how that, how that becomes a disaster for us later. But over here, we're just, our javelin, our Tarantines are just making some mincemeat out of some of his cavalry. Look at that. They've already lost a lot in some of their units. We're trying to aim for some of his noble cavalry. Look at that, he's already catching up to some of my guys. They got split up. I, did, I didn't point them this way. I didn't point them this way. They just, they decided to automatically split up themselves. And look at that, they got caught up. You know, the, uh, the skirmish ability on the AI thing isn't very good. The skirmish ability just isn't great. Now they're catching up my terror teams. I'm pulling them back now this way because I want to try to get as many kills on these cavalry as I can. But they're finally catching my Tarantine. I'm trying to pull them back as best I can, but the skirmish, the skirmish keeps fucking me up. I pull them back, and the skirmish wants to take me in, an, in another direction, and they don't. Eh, it's not. 
I wish it was done better. I wish the skirmish button was better. Anyway, I'm starting to move up my main line with my infantry here, and now I'm going to start attacking his main line. He's got his main line of infantry in like a in like a defensive triangle position, and he's still got his Libyans in this wooded area, but that's not going to be a good position for him. In fact, does he not have any infantry right here? I could just send an infantry right through this gap over here and just smash into his Libyans. That's probably what I do at some point. I don't quite remember. Over here, oh man, they're just... I'm trying to run from his... He's got his entire cavalry force chasing my Tarantine cavalries. That is fantastic for me. That is exactly what you want when you bring in a, a couple of cal Tarantine cavalries. That's what they're there for. They're there to distract and kill uh, cavalry units. But, like, they're equal... Equal parts distraction, equal parts killing. Because the javelins are deadly. And they... Look at this. They get... Their whole cavalry army gets distracted. And it's just... It's foolish. Over here, oh, it looks like he had some he had some traps waiting for me. And I got a couple he got a couple of kills on a couple of my guys, but these traps don't really get enough kills to be worth it really. Over here I'm laying down some fire with my Syrian arches. I start to swing around my thorax with my thorough spears and my scaled hoplites, and I'm gonna try to chase down his Numidian cav. Just try to ward them off. With these two hops, I'm gonna try to swing them around. And maybe smack the backs of my backs of my enemies units and these late Libyan these Libyan hops and those uh those mercenary Gallic warriors they're done for they're just they couldn't handle it so I'm gonna move ahead my uh, thoros my thorax swordsman to take out his Libyan peltists and look at that his whole line over here was shattered and now we're just gonna swing around and just absolutely envelop his main line over here that is my goal but I want that to happen because I want that to happen before my cavalry has been dealt with. I still have my melee cavalry and I'm starting to pull them up. But my Tarantine, both my Tarantine have been captured. And now one of them has been destroyed and this one's about to be destroyed. They're just, their skirmish ability is just shit and they weren't able to, they weren't able to, to escape the way I wanted them to. I want these guys to route faster so I started putting one of my uh, Syrian archers on whistling shot duty to try to make them route as fast as I can. As fast as I can get them to, but there most of them are still in the green here, so kind of just wasting shot at that point. Over here, uh, I got my mind on a million different parts of the battlefield, so I wasn't being fast enough with these guys. But we're slowly trying, starting to move them into the positions that I want them to be moved into. We're gonna start backing up some of these cavalry fights with other infantry units. I need to keep a unit on the backs of these Libyan Peltists because I don't want them to stop running and start start uh, melting one of my units with those deadly javelins so I'm just gonna keep these thorough spears chasing after them. That's my plan with them. Over here his cavalry is just getting his cavalry got equally melted by my javelins, equally melted by my by my uh, good Bactrian and melee cavalry I brought so his cavalry is all but destroyed his whole left and his whole left Infantry line completely destroyed and then we're just swinging around these guys have been dealt with his cavalry has almost been completely destroyed And look at this his his uh, skirmish ability isn't doing him any favors either They're soon gonna catch up with these Numidians and it's gonna be all all she wrote these guys are still chasing these Libyans uh, And the battle is over my enemy. I think quit at this point and decided it wasn't Worth all the pain his soldiers were getting we completely surrounded his forces. We distracted his huge cavalry force. His, you would think this huge cavalry force he had would be scary, but you know my my good cavalry melee cavalry I had combined with my Tarantines, combined with my with my spears. You know, it just took all the scariness away from all those cavalry he had. And uh, he is his infantry line wasn't very. Uh, scary either. He, his sacred band was scary, but he, he brought too many of them. He should have only brought one. And, uh, yeah, they didn't even really get killed. They were holding out. But the rest of his infantry just crumbled and I was able to just completely surround the enemy. I love Thorax Swordsmen. They're very cost-effective units. They're very good and they're very cheap for their stats. And they, they do uh, Hellenic factions a lot of good in a lot of battles. The Syrian archers, they, they did their job. These Tarantines, they died. They got caught up. Uh, but at the end of the day, they did their job. 
They did what they were meant to do. They got decent kills and they distracted that huge cavalry army that I just saw come out of nowhere because they were hidden and they popped. I was like, oh crap, I gotta pull him back. Uh, but they did their job. That was a fine use of skirmish cavalry. I, li I like that battle. That was a good battle. I really hate it when the enemy quits the battle before it's over though. Please don't do that guys. It's just so stupid and shitty and scummy. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Just play the battle out, boys. Play it out. He had some slingers, too. I don't even remember seeing the slingers. He brought three peltists. Don't even remember seeing the slingers at all. They only got 21 kills, so rather insignificant. So, yeah, this Thorax Swordsman right here would be the MVP of this battle. Fine, fine work, men. Fine work. I'm your graphics rogue, and I will see you next time. Peace.